Hey everyone, this is Kamran. Welcome to part two of building a React application. In our last lesson, we had the basic setup working and we have our hello world ready. In this lesson, we are going to start building the components and start building this UI with the help of Chakra UI. And later on, we are going to hook it with the GitHub API and show the actual projects. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside my app.js and get rid of the hello world and put here a box. So box is like a div in Chakra UI. So I'm going to give it the width of 100 VW to make it a full width the minimum height of 100 vh because you want it to grow and overflow the scrolls and inside that i'm going to put back the hello world now if i go back to my browser you will see that we don't have anything happen but if i give it the bg of let's say gray dot 400 you will see that it is working as a full width box let's make the background to be gray dot 100 next if we look at the project we are going to have two pages one is going to be for this listing of projects the other is going to be the options page where the user can go and add the token from here so i'm going to create two pages here so first of all it is going to be feed.js and the other is going to be options.js and inside our app we are going to import the feed first of all so export function feed and return from here let's say a box for now so next i'm going to go inside my app get rid of the hello world and import here feed now if you look at git hunt you will see that we have a bunch of components here so first of all we need a wrapper which is going to be in the center of the page so i'm going to go back to my feed and give it the maximum width of let's say 1200 pixel and give it the horizontal margin of auto to make it in the center of the page chakra comes with a lot of built-in props so mx is for the horizontal margin my is for the vertical margin ml is for left mr is for right and so on so next we need some more boxes so one is going to be for this header we'll go back to the project and create a new box here inside this box we are going to put two more boxes one is for the logo and the other one is going to be for the buttons on the right in the left box i'm going to put here logo i already put it here in the public so i'll put here image and s src is logo.svg and in the right box we are going to put the buttons here so i'm going to create button view source next we have use extension and the last one we have is tweet now if we look at the ui you will see that the buttons are coming below our logo but we want them to be on the side so what we are going to do is on the container we are going to put display is equal to flex so now both the items are coming side by side but we want the buttons to be on the far right corner here so what we're going to do now is on our container we are going to put justify content is space between now our buttons are on the right side we also want this to be in the center so i'll put here align items center now the buttons are coming on the center also instead of using display we can use the short form which is d so i can replace this with d is equal to flex and the behavior is still the same next instead of this box chakra comes with the built-in component called flex so i can import it from the chakra core and replace this part with the flex and remove the display is equal to flex part and refresh you will see that the behavior is still the same next we want to color these buttons so i'll go back to the buttons i will do variant color is equal to red and for the tweet i will do variant color is equal to purple now go back to the browser and you will see that our buttons are colored now we want to put some space in between these so we can do that with the help of ml so ml is equal to 10 pixel and ml is equal to 10 pixel on both the buttons and we have the spacing or we can use the built-in stack component so i will remove our margins from here and replace our wrapping box with the stack now if i go back to the browser and refresh you will see that our items are coming in the form of a stack but we want them to be side by side so i will do is inline and now they are coming side by side also they have a property called spacing so i can give my own spacing i want so now it is 20 pixel i can make it 30 or whatever i want so for now let's stick with the defaults and we have our spacing next we need to add the title and the subtitle for our logo so what i'm going to do now is in the brand we are going to put here another box the heading is going to be git hunt and a text for the subtitle go back to the browser refresh now it is coming up and down so i'm going to make this a flex it also decrease the size of our heading font size to be let's say 24 pixel and we need to make it in the center so i will make here a line items center Put some spacing on our box so ml is equal to 10 pixel and also let's change the color for this so i will do color gray dot let's say 600 and also let's put some padding for our header so i will put pt is equal to let's say 15 pixel from top 
Now we need to add the icons to our button. For that, I'm going to install react-icon. So I'm going to go in the terminal and do npm install react-icons. Once this is installed, I'll be able to import FA GitHub, FA Chrome, and FA Twitter from React Icons FA. And for our button, I'll be able to put left icon FA GitHub or extension. We are going to put left icon FA Chrome. And for Twitter, we are going to put left icon FA Tweet. Now go back to the browser and refresh. You will see that we have the icons now. Before we move on, let's divide our components that we have got into the subcomponents. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new folder called components. Inside the components, I'm going to create a brand component. So this is going to be our logo. So brand.js. So import react from react and then export function brand return from here the component that we have for our logo so i will copy all of it from here put it in our brand component and then replace this with our brand now go back refresh so it is still working so now we need to move all of our header to let's say page header so i'll create a new component called page header or js import react from react export function page header and here we are going to put the header so i'll copy all of this from here put here page header go back to our page header component and put all of this there instead and also we need to import our icons so i'll move this from here to our component and now go back to our page header and you will see that our page is still working Okay, now that we're done with the header, next we have to work on this part. So we have a title of the group on the left side and on the right side, we have the filters. If you go down and click the next button, you will see that we are using the same title, only the position is a bit different. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go inside the project and create a new component here called group-title.js import react from react export function group title return from here a box for now and later on we are going to change this with the text and inside our feed let's create a new flex because we have two items one on the left and the other on the right so in this case also again we are going to have align items to be center because we want the items to be in the center and justify content to be space between because we want the items to be left and right and inside this we are going to have the group title and on the right side we are going to have the box that will be holding the filters so first of all let's look at the title so i'm going to go inside the group title replace this box with a text and text is going to be let's say this week for now and then we have another text inside that actually we need a span but we don't have a span in chakra so i'll, I'll create text as equal to span and then we are going to put here let's say we'll put this bit for now so i'll put this here and we want to increase the font size for this so i will make it font size 24 pixel and let's say font weight to be 700 and also we want to reduce the font weight for this and font size for this so i will make it font size 15 pixel and font way to be let's say 500 for now and color to be also gray dot 400 actually let's make it 500 let's put some space in between so i will put ml is 5 pixel from the left okay this looks good now so now on the right side we need to add the filters so i will create a new component called filters.js and then again import react from react export function filters and from here i'm going to return a box and then we are going to include this filters in our parent component now inside our filters we need first of all the language filter so i'm going to go back to the code i have put here the languages.json file so i will import it from here and here we are going to select and then languages.map will iterate all the languages and for each of the language we are going to print here an option now go back to the browser refresh you will see that we have the language coming now and next we need here the drop down so for the drop down i'm going to take from chakra this menu so i will copy all of it from here go back to the code and put here the menu and we are going to import all of these from chakra core now go back to the browser refresh so our drop down is working now but it doesn't look the same as our select so for that i'm gonna go back to the code base give it the bg of white border width of one and padding horizontal of 30 pixel also let's make the font weight to be normal refresh 
so now it is fine also we need to put some space in between these so for that i'm going to replace our wrapper with the stack and make it inline go back to the browser refresh so now it is same also we need a calendar icon on the left so chakra comes with a bunch of built-in icons that we can use also so if we don't want to use react icon we can use the built-in icons as well but they're limited so on the menu button i'll put the left icon to be calendar now refresh now our calendar is coming also okay next we have the view switcher chakra doesn't have it by default so i'm going to create a stack here so i will put a stack and it is going to be inline so is inline and then we are going to put two buttons here the first button is going to be for the grid and left icon is going to be fa table and the other button is going to be for the list and icon is going to be fa list now if i go back to the browser refresh so we have some space in between these so i'm going to remove the space by putting the spacing is equal to zero refresh spacing is gone we now need the backgrounds so i will give it the bg of white and to this button also we are going to give the bg of white give the container to be a border width of one we also need to put some space in between these there's a bug in chakra because of which the stack inside stack doesn't take the space so for that i'll have to do the ml of 10 pixel manually and also we need to put some fixes here to make it look the way we want it to be and now if i go back to the browser refresh you see that it is looking as the rest of the filters that we have so next we need to work on the repository session so this one so i'll go back to the project go back to the feed.js and first of all i'll create a box here the box is going to hold all the repositories this grid and inside that i'll create a new component called repo so in the components i'll create a repo.js export function repo and from the repo we are going to return a box so this box is going to be border width equal to one and background is equal to white also let's give it the padding of let's say 15 pixels go back to the browser refresh nothing is happening because we didn't include this component into our feed so i'll go and put it here now go back refresh so we have our repository box working let's give it the border radius of let's say five pixel now we need to show the image of the user the username and this view profile text on top of our card so for that i'm gonna go inside my editor create a flex here inside this flex first of all i'm gonna put an image the image is going to be for the user so for src i have a dummy image for now so i'll put that let's give it the width and height of also 30 pixel w 35 pixel same for the height and also let's give it the radius of 5 pixel next we need to add our box here to show the username and the view profile text so i'll put a box here inside the box we are going to put the heading the heading is going to show the username and below that i'm going to put a text here text is going to show view profile now we need to decrease the font size for this both items let's make the username to be 16 pixel and this one 13 pixel so i'll give my heading font size of 16 pixel and text will be the font size of 13 pixel also we need to put some space in between these so i'll go and give it the margin left of let's say 10 pixel now right below this we need the repository information so this part so i'm going to create a new box here so i will go and create a box inside the box we are going to have a heading which is not going to be a heading but a link so clicking that will open the repository page on github in the new page so i'll give it an anchor href is going to be the project link and we wanted to open a new tab so i'll give it the target of underscore blank also let's give it a color of purple dot 700 and i'll put here git hunt for now below the heading we need this meta information so for this one i will create a text text will have a color of gray dot let's say 600 inside it i'm going to put built by then the name of the author so i will put here link so link is an anchor and i will give it the href of whatever target equal to underscore blank and put the name of the author here next after the link we need to put the date i'll put a mid dot here and let's say may 29 now if i go back to the browser and refresh so we have it coming like this so we need to reduce the size for this so i'll make the title to be let's say 19 pixel and the subtitle to be let's say 14 pixel also let's make the font weight of the link to be bold now i go back and refresh now this looks much better we need to put some margin in between these also so i'll go and give my upper flex to be let's say 15 pixel below the repository title we have the description of the project so i will create a new text here and i will put here the repository title for the upper box i'm gonna give it the margin bottom of 10 pixel and also reduce the font size of this so font size let's say 14 pixel and give it the color of grade or 900 instead of 
the black. Next, after this, we have the repository statistics about the stars, forks, and the issues. So for that, first of all, I will wrap our repository information in a box so that we can give it the margin bottom of 15 pixel. And then below that, I'm going to add a stack, which is going to be inline. Inside that, we are going to have a button and button is going to be as an anchor. And we want the cursor to be pointer and left icon is going to be GitHub Octo icon star. And here we are going to have the star count. Now, if I go back to the browser and refresh, you will see that it is coming as a button, which we don't want. So I will go back and change it to be variant link also decrease the font size to be 14 pixel and reduce the icon spacing also so i'll make it four pixel so now you see that our icon is there so next on hover we don't want to show the underline so i will put a hover style here and do a text decoration of none so now if you hover you will see that we don't have the underline anymore now let's add the icon for fox and the issues so i will go and duplicate this one and give it the left icon of go fork duplicate it one more time and create go issue also go back to the browser refresh you see that we have our statistics coming here since we are going to have a grid layout i'm going to go inside my feed create some copies of the repositories go inside the browser refresh you see that everything is coming in one column but we want the three columns and multiple rows so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to replace our box with a simple grid the so simple grid allows you to specify the columns so i'll give it the columns let's say three go back to the browser refresh so now we have the columns here we want to add some spacing in between these columns and rows so i'm going to give the spacing of let's say 20 pixel refresh and now you see that we have our columns and spaces aligned properly let's make it 15 pixel refresh again so our grid is working now let's add some more rows and now we have our grid ready next at the bottom of the page we need a button to load the next group so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go inside my feed component and add a flex here where the items are in the center of the page and we have the top and bottom margin of 20 pixel i can replace it with my as well and remove the margin bottom and we have our button to load the next group now if i go back to the browser refresh so we have our button shown up here and with that our interface is ready in the next lesson we are going to hook it with the actual github api and show all the repositories from there thank you for watching and i will see you in the next lesson